All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast Channel, guys. It is time for Week in Review for 11-25, November 25th, 2022. Hello, Tyler. Uh, oh, look at that. I got a tripod in the background. Neat. Let's put that over here. All right, well, anyway, say hello to Ren and Stippy and a messy desk and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV. And let's get started, guys. Uh, welcome. It is Black Friday, and there are already six folks in here. I see Southpaw EDC, uh, uh, Matthew Neely, uh, very cool. Everybody's changing names these days. Mike Jernak, Mike Curtis, Grumpy Grunt. Uh, let's see, David Iverson, Rusty Knife Lover. Well, go grab your coffee. I, I'm starting early. It's good. Mike Reese, uh, Tim B, of course he's here. Crispy Critter, hey everybody, uh, 13 people in here now, look at that, I paused for a second, and now everybody in the world is here, so that is great, JB Big Red EDC is here, ladies and gentlemen, and if you didn't check out his uh, most coveted knife in the collection video this morning, you should check that out, but I think most of you that are in here so far could probably guess what it is, <laughs> Craig Wilkes is here, hello Craig, very, very cool um so yeah so let's get started with week in review uh so welcome everybody deals 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 says tim there's lots of them out there so yeah we'll talk about that for sure guys make sure you see i got my blue creek knives hat on here uh guys this is the most comfortable hat i'm about to order some of these with the tempest logo on them this exact hat uh with the tempest knives logo on them uh as soon as brent's helping me fix my logo because it's screwed up and i can't do it <clears throat> but as soon as we get that solved, I will be ordering some Tempest knives in this exact hat. But anyway, uh, don't forget Blue Creek knives. Uh, everybody's got Black Friday sales today. I mean, all the people I'm affiliated with, uh, so SNKW, Traditional Pocket Knives, uh, White Mountain Knives, Blue Creek Knives, all have, <clears throat> um, wow, choking all of a sudden, all have uh, Black Friday specials today, sales. But of course, uh, it's Knife Nerd Day at Blue Creek Knives. That means you can get 15% off using code KNIVESFAST at checkout. Uh, if you use that code, you get 15% off today. Now, he's also launching the Knife Nerd boxes. Uh, there will be no 15% off of that because his margins are really uh, tight. But if you want to get in on that, I think it's $40 uh, for one month. But if you do it month to month. Um, and, uh, he's going to pick out stuff probably in the $50 range and send it your way, uh, every month if you sign up for that. Uh, so that is knife nerd. And then of course at two o'clock, uh, in one hour, he's going to drop a bunch of petrified fish knives and there's a Rosecraft knife coming today. Uh, so Brian's got everything going on today. There he is. Hey, Brian. Hey, Tom, what is going on? So yeah, so a lot of cool stuff going on today. Uh, at Blue Creek Knives, and of course, uh, TPK still has those tactile knife uh, company jigged uh, titanium knives available, so if you guys want to check those out, uh, definitely do. You can use my link down in the description of this video, and there's uh, the Knife Nerd Club from my, my friend Tim B. Very cool. Thank you, Tim, as I knock my microphone off of the stand here. There we go. And Grumpy's taking care of it, too. You guys are all over it this morning. Knife Nut, hello, sir. Very, very cool. Da, da, da. Yeah, I need to, I'm going to probably get a couple of flashlights from Olight today. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I've been busy. Uh, I do know this, guys, some good news. Uh, the um, additional pinions, uh, 32 of them total i don't know if i'm gonna put all those for sale because i didn't quite keep enough micarta uh for warranty purposes so i might keep two or three of those back uh and they'll be like let's just say 26 27 micarta available uh a couple of those are g10 um but uh yeah so they're coming and then the microburst prototypes are on the way so they um it looks like they might even be here early early next week um ooh. First Knife Nerd box will ship in approximately two weeks, guys. So get in on that so you can get in on that first one. And I think today, Brian, do you still have, um, uh, by the way, those Knife Nerd patches, first 50 orders today. I don't know where he stands with that, uh, how many. And then uh, T 
today. I believe if you get in on Knife Nerd today, you get a t-shirt. So that is epic as well. So really, really cool uh, with that. Ah, Brian, holy moly, man. Good grief. Uh, let's don't, the chat's going berserk. Okay. Can't even begin to thank you enough for the support of my shop. You know, here's the thing, Brian, there's people come along from time to time and, uh, there's, there's people that are just really different and special and you've been a huge part of this community. By the way, guys, Brian is on Monday night on KF live, unless something changes. But at this point, uh, there's your Dalika salute. Look at that 20, well, 1999, but you know what I mean? Thank you, Brian. Uh, Brian's on uh, KF Live Monday night, uh, so be here. Uh, really, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right, Tim. It's just easy to support some people. They treat you right. They take care of you, uh, and they just want to get your thoughts and opinions. And uh, you know, and with Brian, Brian and I chat back and forth, and he's just a great dude. Thanks everybody for. You can see all the members over here, guys. Uh, Matthew Neely and uh, Mike Reese and Rusty. And, uh, you know, everybody just dropped Mike Jernak, dropping all the Dalika love and the KF tires and you name it. So thank you, channel members. Tim B's a channel member. There's lots of channel members in here. Hey, Chris Emmett. Chris says Cutlery Shop has some great prices on non-exclusive spider Uh Who was it? Oh, SMKW has the um, uh, Jungle uh pm2 today for like 150 did i see that right i believe that is correct uh so i you use my link down in the description there are so many deals today guys uh same thing white mountain knives you guys know my codes are usually uh knives fast and then there's a link down in the description also for the olight uh sale uh through my link so very very cool what in the world there's all kinds of stuff going on uh, Big Jimpin, hello, sir. Very cool. S ninety V yo jo, oh, yo jumbo. Cool. I almost said yo jimbo, but it's yo jumbo. Yeah, and so thanks to all the members. And Grumpy says, join the pit crew, guys. I could always use your support. Shipped five packages a few minutes ago. Uh, just got back to the house. Uh, it it never ends. Trying to get content in here and get it all rolling. It's a lot of fun, but it's uh, crazy too. There's Tim S. Hey Tim S, how you doing, my friend? Uh, so guys, yeah, go check out all uh, those stores and especially, like I said, Blue Creek today. I feel really honored uh, with what Brian says all the time. Brian is just a good dude, a good friend. And, uh, you know, I love the fact that this is a guy that started a business in April and he's already doing subscription boxes. Uh, he's just going out on a limb, guys. And you, I mean, from a guy that went out on a limb with the Mach 51 and the and the pinion, and you guys honored me. It's just, it's awesome to ask you guys to just honor Brian uh, if you can. And again, those petrified fish knives are dropping at two. Now, I will tell you something very important. Uh, at one, like 58, I'm closing the stream out because at two o'clock, I'll be up next to the TV watching the U.S. beat England, which we'll probably get our heads stomped in, but I can dream, can't I? Um just restock finch title resin ants if anyone wants one very cool ants you mean uh reciprocities do you mean reciprocities you don't mean chernobyl ants you mean reciprocities i think he means reciprocities but anyway uh th those are cool you guys know i'm digging mine it's up in the case or i'd get it out and show it to you uh big jimping was your alter ego yeah he is yeah that's my my uh my old high school friend. No, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know, t uh, Tom. You know me and jimping. Reciprocity. I knew you meant reciprocity. Yeah. Um. So Matthew, you know the the Mach fifty one is not coming back soon. Uh, it may someday. Uh, but I will tell you if you, if you pay attention, there will be some knives coming soon. Uh, there's one or two people in the chat that have seen some of these that are going to have super identifiable Mach 51 DNA, uh, but be a little more acceptable, if that makes any sense. Um, so you will see, but maybe someday we'll do a full on Mach 51. So Brian, you only worked 36 hours yesterday. There's no excuse for that, man. Or yesterday, there was only 24 hours yesterday, but you know what I mean? You were working for 36 hours. 
So we can review. It's been another big week for channel growth. So if there's new folks in here, you are welcome. I appreciate you being here. Uh, guys, if you see new people in here, like I've always said, please make sure to make them feel welcome. We are at 6,457 subscribers. Um, blowing my mind, we're a little more than two weeks from when we crossed over 6,000. So we've gotten 457 subscribers in just uh, like two weeks and two days. So yeah, crazy. So you guys know, I've got a knife sitting over here. Matter of fact, let's just look at it. Oh, look at that. Oh, I, I see uh, this week's uh, Killer Bunnies sitting here too. Oh my goodness. I got to keep that safe. Hope you guys didn't see that. Um, so what just fell? That was not good. Um, so yeah, at 70, I mean, at um, 7,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away this beautiful, I really want to keep this, guys, <laughs> this beautiful blue Finch Runtley. Uh, I, I don't know why, but all the pictures I saw these when they dropped, uh, they look darker blue. This is Knives Fast Blue. This could not be more. I mean, look, look at that next to that. I mean, it's a little different, but uh, you know, this is Knives Fast Blue. Just super awesome. So I cannot wait to give that away. I'll also probably have something else to go with it. I haven't ordered that yet, but probably a flashlight or something. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so Tim, I, I won. Uh, you guys know I loved the BRS Navajo on uh when i reviewed it and i won that uh from the pass around group so i have that here um i'll get it real quick because it's in the top case so it's a little bit easier um where is it i don't know where i put it right there so i love i absolutely love the brs navajo um i love the lines of this just the overall profile of this knife is absolutely fantastic. Um, this one, again, it was passed around to 100,000 people, but you can see the action on this knife is ridiculous. Ridiculous. You got decent lock bar access, which is great. It is a um, you know four-finger knife, but not huge um, for me. There's nowhere to choke up, but you can see there, Tim, uh, good size. I mean, it's it's a little thicker than some, but I just, the fit and finish is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you do have a lanyard hole for those of you that dig that. I love this knife. And uh, I think it's S, is it S35 or S45? They don't put anything on the blade. So I don't, can't remember if it's S35 or 45, but for $90, absolutely, man. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you can get one and you like the colors, the options, um, very cool. So grumpy, let's have a little argument here. <laughs> I, oh boy, this is where Casey gets rocks thrown at him. I felt like the Trinity was too light for me when I handled the, the Trinity. And also the difference for me is the fact that you've got contoured scales and the Trinity is flat didn't really love i didn't hate i didn't really love the feel of the trinity in my hand because of the 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 flat uh scales and um yeah it felt too light i don't know maybe i'm crazy this feels phenomenal in my hand this is an amazing purchase in my hand again i know you're a big trinity guy but uh just wasn't my favorite what what can i say i don't know you know me. Hey, let's see. Who was that? I thought I saw a freak show. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy. What's up, man? Very cool. It's M390. Is that right? Is it M390? Why am I? Yeah, it's M390. You're right. But there's nothing. They, they didn't. It's completely sterile, which is another reason I love it. Completely sterile. Just I love the pocket clip. It's great in and out of the pocket. It's just I don't know. Uh, I was very happy to win that back from the pass around group, uh, from the lefty pass around group. So really, really cool. I forgot it was M392. Some reason I thought it was uh, S35 or S45. I couldn't remember. Knife Nerd Club, founding member. Very cool. That's awesome, JB. Grab some rocks, everyone. There you go. Tom's going to stone me. That's not good. But that's that's a phenomenal price. 
I think these were 150 if I remember correctly. So 90 bucks uh, seems great. I, I don't know anybody with a code or anything to help you at Blade HQ, but that's already a phenomenal price. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm okay. So grumpy, let's let's okay. This is the part where Casey says things that everybody gets upset. I'm not a big bug out fan because the bug out is so thin, it's too thin for me, and then it's ultra lightweight. It's I gotta feel like there's something in my hand. I don't want something to be heavy, but you know, three ounces is a good place for me. Three to four is where I like to live a lot. Um, and I like contoured scales. And when you go so thin and flat, it just doesn't feel as comfortable to me. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Um, so it. So wait a minute. The Trinity's only three and a half. It is three and a half. It felt way lighter than that to me. I thought it was like two to two and a half. So maybe I need to get one in here again. I didn't even get to review it. Um, the Navajo were sold out at Blade HQ. So... Tim, if you have a link to what you're seeing, please share it. Did you already? I thought I thought he did. Yeah, right here. It's on the screen. So did you click on that link? Grumpy, so I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, sold out now. <laughs> oh, well, so we're talking about it, and it's, it's sold out. But oh, well. Um, but I, I dig the knife. Very, very much so. Edgy American, are you here? Hello, Shane. What is going on, man? Good to have you here, brother. Hogue Decca G2 Magna Cut, the Bug Out Slayer. Yeah, no doubt, man. Uh, yeah, guys, so if you're seeing deals today that we don't know about, please drop them in the comments. I would love to share with everybody what deals everyone is seeing. But let's get into uh, some pocket checks here. So tell me what you guys are carrying in your pocket. I'll have them in next week. What will you have in next week? You're gonna have you're gonna have Navajos in next week. Is that what we're saying, Brian? Is that what we're saying? I don't know. Leatherman juice models are fifty percent off. Is that all the juices or just the CS4? Well, Shane, I am honored to have you here, brother. I love I love uh, your takes on stuff and your attitude. I just think you're a cool dude. So. Good to have you here. Hey, JN. Yeah, I just don't ever have a place where I need something to be that that light. But that's just me. Blue Pinion Case Peanut Classic SD for my Curtis channel member. Very cool. Hey, Stacy. Welcome, welcome. XE6 and CS4 are the ones that are 50% off. Very cool, Tim. Thank you for sharing. So did, did Brian answer me? Yes, Navajo's next week. So we'll see what price he has when they drop, and then you'll be able to get 10% off with uh, any of the codes. And, of course, mine's Knives Fast. Carrying my Manix 2 and S110V today. I love the Manix. TRM Adam, I love the Adam. Victor Knox Pioneer X. Uh, Ron Steele Design Short Rounds will be changing soon, though. Okay. Uh, Brighton Blades Black Friday. JB just shared that. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. JB. If you guys are interested in Brighton 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 Blades, I don't know. All right, what else we got? Waiting for more people to tell me what they're carrying today, and we'll go from there. Either that or I'm missing them all and it's jumping like crazy again. I don't know. My chat has just totally frozen. So that's really cool. Ah, I have the Olight Freeze 2 with my card of scales. The green and black Vosti Thunderbird. The Olight Arkfeld Titanium. And the Olight i3 TEOS Friendship Light. And the Otical Mini Pry. Very cool, Tim. Vosti Raccoon for Mr. JB so far. Uh, JB, I dropped the other package that's on the way to you off uh earlier by the way so you will enjoy that crazy knife uh keep switching between my sabenza 31 and the bridgeport 395 as i do chores around the house very cool knife nut uh, another channel member very cool deception 5 tanto in m390 for seek pm hello sir uh stacy's thinking of carrying her black my card opinion micro dick pick 
uh, Kaiser Original Blacked Out today. Another channel member and a moderator there. Uh, Grumpy's got the Jade Pinion. All right. Sage 5 Lightweight and Pro X Burlap Scales and Kaiser Original. Hurry up and dye your, your pinion, uh, Grumpy. I want to see what you're going to do. Rosecraft, Rosecraft Blue Pocket Monster from Blue Creek uh, using the Nice Fast discount. Awesome. Crispy, thank you. Very cool. Crispy Donut Community has 35% off most items on their site today. That's those sides. I saw Zach showing that. It's really interesting. ZT09 0393SW Microtech UTX70 Hellhound Victorinox Alox Pioneer X and Red Forest Tank all for David Iverson, channel member. Quist Variant PE2 for Mike Jernak. Uh, my Penny Black. My card opinion with skip bearings and AT, ATK Tomahawk. You're okay. Uh, Nim, very cool. That's uh, Matthew Neely. Oh, man. It is jumping off the screen now. So give me just a second to get my cursor where I need it. I hate this setup. I got to figure this out. All right. So let's go right here. Uh, Freak Show's got the Nimble X. Uh, bug out with rock scale design titanium scales. Benny's Clip, Midnight Jack Forest, Jason Brown, Hank, uh, Olight I, excuse me, Ty I5R, Leatherman Charge Plus, uh, Log and Jotter Notebook, and a single tactile turn pin. Whoa, you must not be working today. Um, uh, very cool though. I'm carrying a Nimble W for Manny Z, rocking the Kubi Royal, the MKM Izonzo, uh, Victorinox Classic SD, and Cheese Deco. And uh, Olight I3EEOS for Tim B. Awesome. Hello, Honey Bear. All right, let's see. I think I'm okay now. Let's see. Microtech, Hero Black, uh, Serrated Leatherman, P4, Bradford, Chief's Foot, M390. Oh, it's so hard to type with a crack screen. <laughs> uh, Pluck It Harpoon. Drop Point, Lich, Northwest AAP, All Access Pass, Ray Light Pineapple, all for Honey Bear. Very cool. Crispy Donut Community. Very cool. Uh, ba -ba -ba Mandalorian Campfire Leatherworks, Hank, Modded Leatherman Style PS, Now Nan Use Bits. What? Lynch AAP Nipex Pliers. What I miss? Uh, now Nan Bits. Okay. Got it. Hello, Uncle Cal. Good to have you here. Refine is offering 10% off for Black Friday. You guys know I love my EP1. Check those out. This one has patinaed so well, and it's just gorgeous. Love it. <laughs> he scored a We Rock C3 for 180. Dang Ross did, but he's not carrying. He's not wearing pants today, so not carrying anything. <laughs> Very cool. There's another channel member. Oh, I've been able to get some. Oh, well. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, well, get it done. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, da, da, da. Green, black, busty Thunderbird is has a bit of button stick. Not near as good of action out of the box as the red, black you checked out, says Tim B. Tim S, excuse me. I got my Tim's messed up there. Giant Mouse has 20% off. Fisher Space Pins has BOGO free sale. Uh, very cool. Recon one is sugar off high tech coins. If anyone uh, likes that stuff, says so CPM. Very cool. Lots of stuff going. All right, let's see what I got today. Oh man, I can't get it. I'm I'm wearing jeans today. I hate jeans. But anyway, uh, we've got the uh, EMP EDC Nimble X in frag titanium with this beautiful what he calls spear point blade. I really, I mean, uh, sheep's foot blade to me. Uh, it's just a thicker uh, spear point, but I mean, it's his knife, so he can call it what he wants. I'm trying to clean the blade. Sorry, I cut some stuff open earlier. Still didn't get it all off, but there you go. Beautiful, beautiful knife. That's the first one today. And the second one is the fidgety traditional, as I like to call it, the Finch Harvester. Uh, you've got the green micarta and, again, stuff on the blade. Guys, I always have junk on the blades because I use them. Four finger knife back here. I love that. But then you've got um, the ability to either flip it, which I never do, or middle finger flick it using uh, the uh, whatever you call that thing, nail nick. So there you go. 
Even freaking Spider Co. has 20% off their stuff this year. That's funny, Grumpy. It's very, very cool. What are you, what are you doing? Going to practice. You're going to practice? Hello, Trevor. Everybody say hello, Trevor. You can't, they can't even see you, so how do they say hello to you? Wow, what's the bug eye thing? Oh, you know what we ought to do? All right, stay, well, how long till you got to leave? Like right this second? Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to do... We're going to do a Trev Turbo review. I'm going to pick. Oh, matter of fact, let's go with this since we were talking about it. All right. We're going to go with this. Don't look. I'm just kidding. All right. We're going to do it right here in front of you guys. You guys ready for this? Because he's leaving. So if I don't get it done, then we won't do it. Uh, let's see. I got to go here. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Whoa. You're so close. Uh, and there's junk behind you. Trev Turbo. Whoa. <laughs> I had an aneurysm. Trev Turbo review on the BRS Navajo. Let's see what we get. Flies out of there. It's kind of kind of clunky for my hand. It's a good lock bar axis though. Um, I'll give it a same as yesterday, six and a half out of ten. Nice. All right, guys. There, you just got a live Trevor. Trevor. I don't, I don't Turbo. like how it feels in my hand. You don't like how it feels in your hand. There you go, guys. Trev doesn't like how it feels in his hands. All right. Have a good time in practice. All right. And then flashlight wise, guys, I've got the, um, this beautiful, uh, baton three pro from, uh, Olight. Love this thing. I'm not going to shine it at you. I'll shine it back here. Uh, really, really cool knife, a knife flashlight. I love the orange anodization. Don't forget guys. Uh, my my uh, link will always be in the description. It helps the channel out. And when they're done with the Black Friday sale, you can use code KF10 and get 10% off on any non-sale price item at Olight. Oh, you know what? I forgot one other thing here. Let's see. There we go. All right, we got to get we got to get the uh, the P51 lit up back there. Got to do that. So. <clears throat> Very cool. Is Kiefer in here? No way, man. Hello, sir. Very, very cool. Good to see you. Awesome, awesome. Kaiser, Kaiser Serape series is live on the Kaiser site. Very cool, says Mr. Tim B. Awesome, awesome. So what would you guys think of, uh, of the live Trevor Turbo review? Is that, is that cool or what? Very cool. All right. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what I've got. So, very, very cool. Love this flashlight. Really good one. And then I'm really another – well, we'll go through all the stuff that came in this week. But that's what I'm carrying uh, today. So, thank you guys very much. Hey, G-Ball, what is going on? So, Tim, I hope that helped you, man. Trevor gave you a good review. He, he differs from my taste quite a bit, but he's got smaller hands too. But there you go. All right, so uh, let's go through this week. Um, what came in this week? Let's see, not a lot, to be honest. Um, again, you had the flashlights from Lefty. So I've got this big beast of a Marauder Mini. Uh, this thing is a thrower. As a matter of fact, my short on it went up a few minutes ago and you can see uh this thing can throw some light let me tell you and then it's got uh red green and blue as well really cool light it's dimmable so you can um whoa okay there we go so you can uh crank it up or bring it back down uh really cool light for like just outdoor i heard kevin say this is massively heavy now let me just say something okay so if you guys ever had one of those big like spotlights with the handle and you, you know, you remember how heavy those are? Yes, this is heavy, but you've got it in a small handheld package and the the weight is the battery. If you take this massive battery out of here, um, this thing is like super lightweight uh, for the size. Again, the battery is, is, is you got to have it or it's just going to die after no time, but I just love this marauder mini if you can get one on the um on the black friday sale if you're interested in it the price is good uh and these are really really 
cool. So I'm impressed with that one as well. Uh, got in also the Valkyrie uh, weapon light here and the Odin. I did finally, by the way, Tim, uh, get this one to, well, I still got the, that's why it looked yellow there. That was neat. Uh, did finally get this one to work. Uh, so the Odin and the Valkyrie, both weapon lights, those are in. I'm not sure how I'm going to do reviews on these yet. Probably just on the lights themselves, and we'll go from there. I do have um, I thanks in here, which is basically the same as the IXR, but a little bit different. Um, or IXV, I mean, you know what I meant. What is that? Okay, interesting. Uh, and then the only knife that really came in this week is uh, this big beast of a knife. Uh, this is the big banter from We came in from uh, White Mountain Knives. Maxpedition pouches on sale. Pop off leather, leather 40%. Man, Tim B is scouring the internet, guys. Look at that. Awesome. So uh, very, very cool. Yeah, this, uh, this guy is a big knife, as you can see. Uh, four fingers, and I still have some room. And if I choke up, there's lots of room. So you got room to choke back. Um, love it. Again, flat scales, you guys know. I don't know. Maybe I'm a snob. But uh, it feels good, but it could feel better if there was a little bit of contour there. Uh, one other little nitpick we'll talk about in the review. But really interesting knife. I mean, it's, it's basic, like a lot of Ben's designs. Uh, but it's also very useful and very good and carries very slim in the pocket, as you can see. So that's cool. I'm stuffed. There you go, Mr. G. Very cool. Glad you're here, though. We'll, uh, we'll get a wheelbarrow and cart you around in it. Uh, you don't have to be sorry you're late. Hello, Mrs. C. Good to see you. Afternoon, Darnell. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, there you go, guys. White Mountain Knives. Check that out. The Olight Mariah. Oh, it's sold out. Of course it is. But you can pre-order them. Thanks, Tim S., for letting me know. I, as of last night, I thought I still saw some, but maybe not. Uh, my father-in-law is looking at buying one, so I was showing him that. Now, um, real quick before I go on to new videos this week, um, I did want to say, guys, I did end up doing a Black Friday sale on the Tempest Knives website. Um, so you can get, obviously, uh, by the way, the card opinions are on the way here. I will let you guys know. I'll give you a little heads up when these drop. I know there were some people that I've got to notify that were looking to buy one, um, a black card opinion. But right now, the blue G10 pinions, the black G10 pinions, there's only a, two or three of these left. And uh, let's get a jade one out here. Here's um, here is my jade pinion that is now teal, tropical teal, very cool. But uh, I'll get an actual jade one out here. I just pulled this out of the box a couple minutes ago. Da, da, da. So here is a jade pinion, and again, you can pretty much dye. This is the natural color. Hey, Nick Martino. Oh wow, this one's got a great D10. Who wants this one? Um, so yeah, this is, uh, what the jade pinions look like. You can keep them this color or you can dye it any color, basically, uh, that is any color that's darker than this, obviously, or, uh, you know, I've, I've seen people like my light colored, um, finch knives. I just barely dyed them blue to get past the green. And that was that. So Bradford has 20% off with BF22. Dang. Uh, where's where's Andrew Hobbert? Andrew, this is the one you needed. Uh, this The D10 on this one is stout, man. Whoo, I like it. I like it. I might have to keep this one. <laughs> so, yeah. So, right now, here's the deal. The deal is uh, $7 off, which brings it back down to the pre-order price. I didn't want to bring it below the pre-order price, even though a bunch of people yesterday told me it's Black Friday. Do what you want. I don't want to dishonor the folks that let me, uh, you know, use their money for three months. So I didn't want to go lower than the pre-order price. So I didn't, uh, but it is basically the pre-order price. Um, 
So if you want to go get a pinion, tempestknives.com is where to go. Um, thank you, Stacy. Appreciate that. Um, so yeah, if you go to tempestknives.com, you can get uh, $7 off right now. And then I think they're going to go back up to regular prices and just stay there. Uh, I may end up, if they don't start selling a little bit quicker, I may end up just keeping a bunch and taking them to Blade Show next June. We'll see. Uh, but I don't know. We'll we'll see. Tim is still putting deals up there, so that is awesome. Wesson, uh, W-E-S-N, I guess, has 40% off, up to 40% off, plus Wolfpack BF for another 20% off. Wow. Very cool. Yeah, so Nick and uh, Jan, I mean, to me, I can't do this without you guys. I can't. I'm not independently wealthy. I'm not even wealthy. I barely, you know, I pay my bills. That's what I do. Uh, so that's why I'm not, I'm, I hate hearing about these Black Friday sales today because I'm freaking broke. Um, but uh, I, I probably will get a couple of things, just some some inexpensive stuff. But, um, you know, I can't do this without you guys. I, I you know, I do have, uh, I haven't sold nearly as many pinions as I had hoped. I do have some money put aside to help with the microburst, but I'm going to have to uh, ask you guys for pre-orders again on the microburst. So, you know, I can't just go buy it outright at this point. So uh, I want to honor those who let me use their money for three months. And I had a ton of people telling me yesterday, it's a Black Friday sale. You can go. I just don't feel right doing that. Uh, I guess I'm weird, but, um, you know, I just... Yeah, the Ritter knives are awesome. Um, yeah, and it supports Doug, and that in turn supports knife rights. So that is cool. I still don't have a Ritter, and I want the big one. I just, I, I haven't gotten there yet. I will. I will. So, Mike, I'm, you know, and everybody, I'm glad you guys appreciate that. That's just, you know, how I want to be. Uh, yeah, I need some food right now. I, I ate uh, breakfast. I haven't eaten lunch yet, Joe, so. Uh, sure, second round sounds good. I'm going to go make a turkey sandwich here in a few minutes, I guess, or something. Depending on what the kids have already destroyed and what's available. I And I literally, guys, that's what I was thinking here with the sale today. I know a lot of you have pinions, um, but I think these make phenomenal Christmas gifts. One of the guys I know here in town has now bought six pinions, uh, and he's giving five of them away for Christmas gifts. So, I just think uh, at the price, at $75, uh, they make a good Christmas gift for somebody. So, um, very cool. Uh, and I, I actually have a feeling, um, who was that that said that? Matthew Neely. Very, very cool. Thank you. Um, I have a feeling the microburst is going to do well. It's been popular so far on social media. So, I'm hoping that means a lot of folks are going to support it. I can't wait. I'm hoping the prototypes will be here Monday or Tuesday. They're in Memphis, Tennessee right now. One of the prototypes didn't make it. There was a flaw in the uh, black wash. So they sent it back to the company uh, that does the black wash. And so there's going to be a delay on one of my six. Um, but yeah, the last time I look, let's just see if there's an update. <clears throat> and, and Keith, it's FedEx. So if they get here quick, I'll give you credit. Yeah, they're in Memphis, Tennessee as of uh, this morning, 10.45 a.m. So very, very cool. It hasn't said they left Memphis yet, though. <laughs> there you go, Joe. Yep, and every the, the mods are putting up, if you want any nice fast swag or... Um, Tempest swag or anything, they're putting them up, man. Let me tell you. And of course, Stacy's putting up stuff about knife rights and uh, the the Ritter Hogue. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. All right, let's see what the new videos were this week. Now today is the um, Sin Cut Watuga, um, and uh, for a fifty dollar knife, uh, that is a phenomenal knife. It has a it had a tiny bit of button stick, but not much. Had a, has, a, in my opinion, a wonderful, useful utility blade. Um, 
I love a Warren Cliff or a Sheep's Foot. I think they're absolutely a, a phenomenally useful uh, blade. And that wood on the handles was phenomenal. Unfortunately, I sent that one back to uh, White Mountain Knives already, but it is phenomenal. Now, the other ones this week, this is always hard to do now because, yeah, I'm posting a lot of videos these days. Um, so I had the unboxing from Lefty with all the lights and the barley. Uh, I would love to show you the barley again, but the barley is on the way back to Kevin, who's going to put it in a Northwoods leather slip and do a video and send it to JB. So um, he got the Northwood leather slips and he wanted to add that. So when JB and anybody else that ends up passing it around has it, they will have the slip. Uh, so that is cool. I did my um, unboxing on uh, the flashlight. I showed you the um, Baton 3 Pro. I had my um, ASMR opinion uh, video, uh, which was the uh, video where I dyed the scales. I had my unboxing of the Sparrow Strix. Uh, I had my uh, review of the Finch Reciprocity, which are in stock in title blue resin right now at, at Blue Creek Knives. And you can't get any percentage off uh, on those because they don't they don't offer those uh, can't offer that. So um, let's see what else went this week. I know there was uh, the Osprey XL butt lock uh, review went up this week, and uh, last but not least, the Rough Rider Apta uh, Warren Cliff in Blue Micarta uh, review went up this week. If you haven't seen any of these, check them out, guys. Uh, really, really excited uh, about uh, all of those videos. And definitely make sure you check out uh, that Rough Rider Apta video. That is my SMKW affiliation uh, knife this month. So very cool. Casey, you ever consider? Uh, yes. Um, I would consider anything. But with the, with the, um, the problem, Nick is you can't really do a flipper with this knife um, because you have this choil here. If I did a flipper on this knife, that flipper would be right here in the middle of the finger choil. Um, see, that's the flipper would go right there. And when you rotate it around, that is right there. Um, so you would have a flipper right in the middle of the finger choil. So I, I don't know. I'd have to draw it and see what it would look like. Um, but to me, it's just not, whoops, uh, it's just not an ideal design. I mean, it would come, I mean, you, you basically would no longer have a choil, um, come back like this. Yeah. You, I wouldn't even feel good to put my hand, my finger there because you'd slide down on the blade. So I don't know. That's why I haven't done it. Hey, Byron Kennedy. Um, and everybody says front flipper. You guys know I can't stand front flippers. Um, but yes, I would consider that more highly than a flipper. Um, it definitely could be a good front flipper. And all I'd have to do is cut the corner of the scales off right here and extend this ever so slightly and put some jimping right there. So yeah, I would consider doing a front flipper uh, before doing a flipper on the pinion. Now, there's other designs I have. Uh, that, that are definitely going to have a flipper. Like I want to show this one, but I'm not ready to yet, but this one right here, uh, definitely has a flipper. Um, may even, I, I have some ideas for this one of maybe doing, working with a dealer on that, um, and, uh, that kind of stuff. So we'll see. That's called the super cell. Uh, can't wait to show it. Just not quite at that point yet. Um, right now the flipper tab is ugly because I'm not big into flipper tabs. So I have to figure out how to how to do that but it's a multiple deployment knife um yeah love the friggin supercell it's gonna be awesome but you'll probably see the vortex before you see the supercell it's probably gonna go microburst vortex vortex maybe uh titanium and uh titanium titanium and 14c so like 120 130 dollars somewhere in there i don't know yet don't know don't hold me to that and then after that, we'll go a little higher with the Supercell. The Supercell will probably still be under $200, but a little higher. So, um, oh, no, I've got I've got so many plans, Nick. It's not even funny. Uh, for those that haven't seen the Vortex yet, let me show that one. Because that one is at the point where I can show it. I think I've posted about it. Um, 
by the way, uh, if you, well, I showed that last week, so I don't need to show that right now. Let's see. Let's go here. Uh, man, I'm so good at this, guys. Me and uh, me and quality entertainment, they come hand in hand. All right. So this, if I can get my phone to work, this is the Vortex. Um, the Vortex, again, I'm planning on doing titanium and 14C on this one. And um, this is one that could possibly end up being a flipper down the road. Um, but we shall see. I don't know yet. So uh, I got to get it in hand like this first and see. Um, Uh, okay. I may have sent it to you wrong, Stacy. So let me write myself a note to resend it to you. It should be in the description of the video. Uh, Stacy. Unless I did it wrong there too. All right. My bad. Sorry about that. Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, now I'm going to blank on who it was again because he's got two names on here. Uh, yes, somebody modded the pinion and basically took a chunk out here and a chunk out here, back here, and made it into a, a front flipper and a back flipper. It's a really low profile black back flipper, but basically all I did was just cut the scales away a little bit and cut the scales away a little bit and was able to do that on both ends. So... Yeah, uh, you can do that yourself, and maybe you know, maybe I can too. If you don't mind a very low profile pro profile flipper. Yes, yeah, so uh, Nick Martino, that's the idea going from here. The pinion was its own name uh, because I just came up with that based on the shape of the blade, and but everything else is going to be. Um, based on storms or t clouds or whatever. Um, Artificial Safari, a.k.a. Blazeburger. That's who it is. So Blazeburger, if you check him out on Instagram, you'll see the, the video he did of uh, turning it into a, a flipper and a back flipper. A front flipper and a back flipper. That's what I'm trying to say. Ah, there you go, JN. Yeah, Typhoon's one I've definitely thought of. I think Typhoon sounds better than Hurricane, or uh, but Cyclone is one I've got on the books. Um, oh, shoot. Let's just read down through a couple. No, I'm not going to show you. Um, just not at that point on a lot of these, but the Supercell is one I love. Um, oh, by the way, if you guys want to see this, this is fun. So this is the original drawing of the Microburst, uh, which is the next one. Uh, with all my details and everything. So really, really cool. There you go. And uh, the prototypes are coming both with that milling and without because I want to kind of see if I want to stay with that milling or uh, not. Uh, we have the raindrop, uh, the gust. I love the gust. I have got to get the gust out here. Um, matter of fact, you know, I'm tempted to take a couple of these and try to sell them uh, to, to, um, sell the designs. I think this would be a good one. The gust has to get out and I just can't do enough quickly enough. I got to get the gust out here. It's, it's one of my favorites. Uh, yes, gust. I love it. Um, we've got, of course, uh, the vortex, the riptide, the duration, which is a gosh, Good grief. I forgot all about the duration. I got to get that one out too. The Nebula, which is a space storm, in case you didn't know. Um, Squall. Thunderhead, which is again a cool one. The Stratus, which is the only fixed blade I've designed so far. And back to the pinion. And then there's a couple before the pinion. Uh, the Cumulus. Uh, the Phoenix. Yeah, I know it's not really a storm, but anyway, it works. Um, I think that's it. I think no, there, there's one more. Nope. Oh, that one's called the Resolute. <laughs> so that's prior to me naming them that way. But anyway, there you go. 
Does it have jumping? We need jumping, says Joe. You mean jumping? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, yeah, this uh, the microburst has jumping. The microburst definitely has jumping. Uh, whirlwind is another good one. Thank you. Very cool. Haboob, yes. Grumpy wants me to do a haboob. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know that that would go over super well, but maybe. Uh, <laughs> JB says Grumpy said boob. Oh gosh, you guys are hilarious. Whirlwind, yeah, like Dust Devil, yeah, yep. Yeah. So there's there's plenty of good places to go. I've got a list uh, as I was flipping through that book. Uh, just make sure they just make sure here along the way. Make sure you're taking time to take everything in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a go for it kind of person, but I hear you, man. I need to do that for sure. Uh, my wife and I are taking. Oh, by the way, let me say this. There will not be a live month in review next week. JB and I are trying to record it. I will be out of town a good portion of next week and next weekend. And I probably, I'm going to record some videos up front. Man, my flag is crooked. Um, I'm going to record some videos up front. And I'll probably do a few shorts here and there. Uh, but I'm probably going to take a break for a few days. I need it. Uh, my wife needs it. Uh, and so we're going to we're going to do that. And uh, don't be surprised if I don't really answer direct messages for a few days. Oh, water spout. I didn't even think about that one, Tim. I like water spout. I do like that. Um, squall line. I've got a squall, not a squall line, just squall. So that's that's my plan next week. We'll see if that works out. Uh, so yeah, JB and I are going to try to pre-record uh, the month in review. Um, I mean, I thought about doing it live on Wednesday, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to record it and post it on Friday. So I have some content on Friday while I'm out of town. Yeah, I hear you, Nick. I don't do enough of that. I don't I don't unplug. I keep running. That's what I do. Uh, hey, Crispy Critter, Tempest Thunder Snow. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, that's that's good. I like that. Hey, Beefer, what is going on, sir? So there's 45 people in here for a Friday. That's really, really nice. I like it. Uh, again, in about 10 minutes, I'm going to be wrapping up because I'm going to go up <clears throat> and watch the U.S. beat England in soccer, uh, which probably isn't going to happen, but I can dream. Uh, and then I'm working all day tomorrow at a football game uh, from 5 a.m. Yeah, I don't know. I think I got to be in it. I got to be up at five and in at six, I think, uh, which is just, you guys, I cannot tell you how much I love getting up before the sun does. It's my, th no, I hate it. Um, not my thing. So don't forget, guys, there are pinions on sale. Uh, as we speak, go check out TempestKnives.com and you too can do something cool like your own color. Now I am going to, I am going to do some anodization and probably a, a new treatment on this blade and a new pocket clip just because I want to have one that's like crazy modded because I've always wanted to do that. I just haven't got around to it yet, but I'm going to do that. Thank you, Stacy, Stacy and uh, Tim and Grumpy. You guys are awesome, man. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Jeremy. That's, uh, Oh, really, Mike Curtis? Very cool. Yeah, I'll be watching soccer today. There, there will be no football until after the soccer's over. <laughs> World Cup happens once every four years. So when the World Cup is on, that's what I do. Um, hello, can you focus, please? Come on. Come on, you got this. Or not. Hello. All right, we're just going to stay out of focus. There's a Dalek. Let's see if it follows the Dalek. There we go. Did I get it? Nope. Come on, focus on the Dalika. All right, you stupid camera. Did we get Yay! We messed it up enough to get it right. All right. Oh, very cool, very cool. That would be awesome, David Iverson. 
Yeah, I agree, Grumpy. Soccer is the real football. You got that right. Yeah, I Nick, that's the way I feel about it. Hopefully you guys are excited. Again, I'm not going to ever move Tempest Knives at the pace that Kevin's moving Devo. Uh, I have a I have a full-time, well, so does Kevin. I have a full-time job and I don't have a business partner, so mine is not going to ever move that fast. It's just not going to, um, and I'm okay with that. If you, two or three knives a year, heck, maybe we'll get a fourth one in at some point. Uh, another candy came. But I'm I'm never going to just pump out knives the way he's doing. I just can't. I don't have enough of me to go around. I have a full-time job. I have a family. I have uh, an extra, like, where I work games and stuff. And then I have the channel, and I have a knife company. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm good. I got to I gotta take take it easy. Quiet Carry has 20% off some models today. today. Very cool with code free ship. The Helmet, the Pilot, the IQ, the Eddie, the Chase, and the West. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sharp guy. That's that's funny. That is funny. So, I don't know. That's, that's pretty much it. Oh, by the way, the, earlier this week, uh, we had a really great KF Live this week. Um, next, uh, well, this Monday night. We have uh, Brian from Blue Creek Knives. Um, and then the following Monday night, I have Brandon Corbin. Now, I was talking about Brandon Corbin and that he had a, um, a collaboration coming up. And I forgot who it was. And now today, if you follow Null Knives on Facebook or Instagram, he has um, announced that Brandon Corbin and him are doing a collaboration on a knife called The Grace um i can only assume that's going through best tech but i don't know uh it is a crazy looking tanto but really cool very aggressive looking knife um oh have a good one jb don't work too hard ma'am whatever you gotta do yeah joe you too ma'am well i'm getting ready to wrap up in about five or six minutes so we're good uh but yeah so two really good cool guests coming up over the next two weeks. Uh, I have to try to line somebody up the week after that. I've had a lot of people I'm going after that just are so busy. I can't get them on the schedule. Um, so maybe I'll go back and rotate through some of the uh, folks that I've had on before, but um, try, I got all kinds of ideas. I just can't seem to make schedules match up. So Monday nights are apparently tough for some of these guys. So it's been really hard. Yep, see you, J JB and Joe, J and J. All right, well, I got a bunch to do, too, when I'm done. I, I'm i going to be watching soccer and folding clothes and working on a couple other things, like uh, I got to hang some Christmas lights outside and different stuff like that. So, yeah, I definitely have some stuff going on, too. So check out all the sales. Guys, if you don't know what the sales are, reach out to Tim B. Uh, it seems like Tim's got a good handle on uh, everybody having a sale today, which is really awesome. Um, and again, we'll see you guys Monday night. Very, very excited uh, to have Brian on. Don't forget the Knife Nerd patches, first 50 orders. I don't know where we are to the 50. I don't think Brian knows yet either. Um, and, you know, you get a shirt to, uh, if you if you get on the uh, Knife Nerd Club today, you'll get a shirt. Um, so very very cool, uh, and fifteen percent off today. At Blue Creek Knives with code Knives Fast. So a lot going on over there. Um, very very cool. And again, everybody's got a Black Friday sale today. And I got links down below. Olight. I got a link to uh, SMKW Traditional Pocket Knives. Um, white mountain knives well white mountain knives is just a code knives fast uh so very very yeah of course of course tim that's really cool see you byron have a good one brother don't work too hard yeah <laughs> you're right about that grumpy you're absolutely right about that so 
All right. Well, I'm going to wrap up here. Um, again, best to you. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget tonight, uh, as far as I know, unless something's changed, you should be able to see uh, Grumpy, uh, Grumpy, not Grumpy, uh, Bees tonight at 8.15 uh, for Live at the Hive. And then tomorrow, I assume JB is going to be at his regular time, uh, 1 a.m. Uh, Eastern, 10 p.m. Pacific. <clears throat> and again, Sunday, you've got Tri-State, Zach, Peter and Christine, and uh, OCD for EDC. And then Monday night, uh, KF Live. So really, really cool. Thanks, everyone, for being here today. Uh, appreciate all of you guys. I'm going to go wrap up and uh, get ready for a soccer game. So very, very awesome. Thank you all for your support. Uh, give me a thumbs up on your way out and uh, hit that. I mean, uh, leave me a comment after a post if I can talk. And guys, I, I'm so, by the way, I didn't do this. I did this a little yesterday. I'm just thankful for every one of you for the support of Tempest, for the crazy support of Knives Fast. Um, we're coming up, like I said, we should be in the next couple of days at 6,500 subs, uh, which is unbelievable, uh, to me. Um, and then by, um, hopefully by Christmas, I'm shooting for 7,000. Uh, if we can get to 7,000, we'll have a nice Christmas slash, uh, 7,000 giveaway. Very, very excited. Very funny, Tim. Uh, so thanks everybody. Have a great day. Uh, and thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel. Why is it not ending? Uh -huh.